do you remember where we were? Oh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Return to Monkey Island. Uh, I was just getting ready to start introducing the episode, and we've got this. So I just loaded the game, and I'm now getting a little intro. Back with Guybrush and Guybrush Jr. Kind of, but remind me a little. Let's just get straight... <gasps> Is this like a recap feature? Oh, wait, no, was this in the settings I saw somewhere? Hang on, let's just have a go, let's have a go. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I had come to Melee Island to start an expedition to find the secret of Monkey Island, but the obnoxious new pirate leaders there wouldn't back me. It looked like I might have to steal a ship instead of hiring one. Now, back to the story. Oh my giddy aunt. What, what a great feature that is. That basically, that basically makes my life a lot easier when I'm trying to introduce the episode and say what happened last time. Now I don't even need to remember. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I love that. So yeah, here we are. Back at the scum bar. As Guybrush just said, couldn't get any financing for a ship, so um, we're off to go steal one, I guess. Man, that's a really useful feature. Um, just to double check though, let's have a little look. Yes, indeed. Use wads of cash to outfit expedition. Uh, didn't really work. Uh, get or find a ship. Find a secret miner. Yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, welcome back. Oh, here we are back in uh, Return to Monkey Island. It was, it was great. It was so nice to start it last episode. But let's get on with it. Let's carry on exploring Melee Island. Should we go straight to go see what LeChuck's up to over here? I mean, look there. He's already loading his ship. Or should we maybe go and explore some more of the town um let's just go joe you know what let's not waste any time let's go see the ghost zombie demon man himself and see how he's doing approach the chuck's ship okay what have we got up here some nice green gas that's always a good welcoming sign Job openings? Are we really... I joked about it at the end of last episode, but are we really going to have to team up with LeChuck <laughs> in this game again? Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Oh, well, that's really... Do you know what? I'm pleased to see that LeChuck has uh, changed his ways somewhat. And he's, he's been equal to all. Uh, do we want to be a swabby? Not really. Anything more senior, yeah. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Oh, absolutely. A second mate, I didn't even know that's how you pronounce that. A bosun. I've heard of it, but I've never even seen it written down like that. Uh, a surgeon, a gunner. Well, we have used a cannon quite a few times in the past, so we could maybe be a gunner. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. All right, that's a no. Uh, let's just think about this then. Uh, could we be a surgeon? Well, can't really think of any previous examples, but hey, how difficult could it be? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. Mm, this is not going so well, is it? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? Oh, I don't want to be a swabby. Maybe a swabby is not so bad after all. Well, I kind of don't want to get into this quite yet. 
Uh, Joe, what? Screw it. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Ah. Uh, this? Oh, we... Are we going to have to go undercover? In disguise on the Chuck's ship. I don't really think we should say about Guy Ross Threepwood straight off the bat. Uh, John Smith, Andrew LeChuck, or his nephew, or Andrew LeChuck, no relation. Uh, no relation. Andrew LeChuck, no relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist, and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Well, that's not very equal opportunity, is it? Is it, LeChuck? Come on now, just because I'm your most dreaded mortal enemy, why can't you give me a job? Uh, right, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, yeah, we've got a few new bits to do now. Join LeChuck's crew. Uh, solve problem. Quartermaster recognises me and won't hire me, and then get a mop. And then we seize the ship at the earliest opportunity and then carry on with finding the secret of Monkey Island. Bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle. Okay, uh, one quick thing I want to do. I know I fiddled a bit last time, but I'm just going to mess around a little bit with the sound again. Hang on. Okay, there we are. Right, so let's Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Oh, no, voodoo lady, come, come back, it's me. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Who was that with her? Was I meant to recognize them? Low Street. All right, let's go. Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Oh, Elaine's back. And she doesn't seem to be angry with us, which is always a good start. Okay, I was hoping you turn up. How's your scurvy prevention project? If you won't believe it, uh, let's just start from the top. Oh, remind me how long we've been married. That's, yeah, that, how long has it been? Remind me how long we've been married. Well, it still feels like the first day somehow. All right, so no actual sp specific number, that's fine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great. We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Wait, what do you mean? What's she doing? Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humour. Hmm, I would have to agree. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I feel better just talking to you. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. Well, they really are lovied up, aren't they? You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. Bye, Elaine. See you later. Okay, then. What have we got here? Criticize the statue? What, the one of Carla? Really? Let's read it first. Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Cardla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Port Elizabeth. Hmm. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Oh, that's kind of true, I suppose. Yeah, how come Carla gets a statue? That's not fair. Oh, wait. 
Voodoo lady's going out of business. Oh no! Going out of business? This place is an institution. Oh, but there's a sale though. Oh, okay, maybe it isn't so bad after all. They're having a half off sale. Hang on, before, I'm getting distracted. There's just so many things to click. Uh, in fact, I saw in the controls, is it backspace? Which one is it? Hang on, enter. One of them shows all the things you can highlight. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. It's tab. Tab just kind of highlights all the clickable items. I'll try not to use it, uh, but we'll see <laughs> when, when the puzzles start getting tougher how that goes. Right, um, let's just check the note first. The flyer. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Well, um, should we take it? I mean, she's literally, didn't she just put it up? Oh, uh, who cares? Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. I mean, yeah, that, that's that's what I meant. Yeah, let's not do that. No, no, no. Sketchy graffiti. It doesn't look finished. No, it doesn't really look like anything at the moment. Okay, voodoo lady, what is going on? The International House of Mojo, let's go. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Of course you have. Uh, since we last saw each other, it's been years. Okay, so it has been years then. That's good to know. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf? Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. No charge? No wonder you're going out of business. So there we are. We have our hint book. Oh, I just kind of want to see how they display it. Okay, so I wonder if it's anything like Thimbleweed Parks. I imagine it's going to be quite similar. Um, let's just ask about the mop, just just to sort of see how it works. Maybe someone has a mop you could borrow, look for something, yeah, all right, fine. Okay, and now I guess it would just flip to another page and flip to another page and give more and more. Cool. Well, I'll try not to use it. As Voodoo Lady says, it will diminish the voyage, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So, what is going on around here? Why is she going out of business? Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. Joe, you know what? This Madison is beginning to sound like a real jerk. Uh, how does dark magic work? Do you sell mops? I don't think she does. Um, what is this dark magic? How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. 
You certainly do with your rising chairs and cauldrons and big monkey head entrances. Oh, you certainly do. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Are you so sure about that? Also, I've just noticed a severe lack of jiggle. Oh well, can't win them all. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Okay, fine. Right, this is a no to dark magic. I've got the message. Do you sell mops? I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scumba. Oh, of course, that place is disgusting. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Definitely not. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Oh, you know what? Let's play cancelled. I. Yeah, I, I kind of have to agree. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the name Corina. It's a nice name. Better than Corona. But I'd kind of liked it when it was more of a mystery. I do what, I think she's probably lying to us. I think it's all just a bit of a ruse. Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Oh. And there we are. We're done. Nope, that is it. Okay. Never mind. I never do. I'm kind of glad. So if you remember, uh, if you ever watched me play it or played it yourself, Tales of Monkey Island, there was a bit of a strange aspect in that game where they sort of hinted towards Voodoo Lady being behind everything and maybe with more malicious intent than, than you would have thought. Um, obviously now that's not really part of this storyline anymore because it's after the second game but I'm kind of glad because I didn't really like that aspect and I just like her being here as a weird and wonderful and vague character um, called Karina that hasn't changed to chat with Karina so yeah I don't think she's telling the truth let's have a little look around though at her impressive cauldron what's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. Yum. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now but I believe I could restore its abilities. Okay, has that just updated our... Okay, no, but that's 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 quite a good lead, a magical eye patch. Um, what about this stuff in the foreground? Can we, can we take that frog? What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. Give me that. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. 
Will it work even on the chuck? That's a big old <laughs> forgiveness request, isn't it? Worth a shot, though. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. So it's just a knife. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely okay, okay, in a vault. Okay. The manufacturer accepts That's no response. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Great, so we have a very useless knife, by the sounds of it. We can appreciate it, though. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Where did we get the... oh yes, our pen, that's right. Okay, cool. Anything else that we want to grab from here? Oh, hang on. There's still loads of stuff in here. A basket. Too bad it's empty. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Gifts? Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper. Unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. What is that thing? A little head. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. Can I buy it? Oh, I can. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. Great, okay. Uh, I feel like we're getting some, as she says, some great bargains here today. I just wish we'd have come earlier. Uh, big thing with discounts. It says everything must go. But it says it with numbers. Yep. Tall bottle? I can't even see what I'm look. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Not very practical. But we don't want it. Keep up the good work, buddy. What is that? A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Mm hmm. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. A sticky bottle? And a trivia card! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, hang on. Due to an outbreak of scurvy, all ships heading north of Scurvy Island are required to carry... limes. See, we do listen to Elaine sometimes. <laughs> cool, alright. Uh, what about the sticky bottle, though? Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Grimy. Sticky. Musty. Oh. Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? I sure am. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Hmm. Are you sure about that? How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. 
As I said, it has been placed with me for safekeeping. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Right, well, let's not forget about that, because that's a little bit... I know we're in a voodoo shop, but that's kind of mysterious. So, we might need to come back there. Is that it? There's usually nothing on this side, is there? No. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, the impressive chair. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that was worth it. <laughs> okay, so we got some interesting items there. Oh, we didn't look at the head, did we? It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. On, uh, related to the navigator, maybe? The curtains are for sale, too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Oh, I actually do need some curtains in real life to get rid of my horrible granny curtains. I'll take them. No, nope. we cannot. We cannot buy them. What a shame. Right. Well, it's kind of sad that she's going out of business, but we did get some good bargains and kind of a bit of an idea of what to do. Well, not really. She's spoken riddles and hints, but she did literally give us a hint book. So, <laughs> uh, are these guys still here? No. Nope. The guys, the uh, men of low moral fibre, they're gone. Oh, Wally! Oh, Wally's here! It's Wally's Maps and More! Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Oh, let's go say hello! Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. I'm really happy for you, Wally. Can we steal his monocle right there? <laughs> Um, no, really, it's a lovely shop. Look at this. Look at all the maps on the wall. And... Oh, he does look very happy. Um, you have lots of maps here. Yeah. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. All right. So, what? Um, I don't really think he's going to want to get involved with all of our adventures and shenanigans, but we can ask. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Oh, darn. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Yeah, 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 we're already on that. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. He's about to franchise? You, way to go, Wally. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Absolutely. You rake it in, Wally. You deserve it. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Wally, just making up stuff? Look at him. I would not have expected that, but uh, yeah, if I could do that, I I would. So fair play to him. Can we store the monocle? They're like glasses, only way less convenient. 
I think we can. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Oh, doesn't feel as good when they just give it to you. We are a pirate, come on, we should be stealing. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Okay. I didn't know you made globes too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. What else have we got in here? Oh, browse the box. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. Well, hang on now. How much money do we have left? I've got a few coins for incidentals. We might be able to afford it, maybe. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Okay, that's you're sounding a little bit creepy now. The first rule of piracy is never buy a used treasure map. Oh, hard at work. Uh, do I, <laughs> can I look at every single map? I think I can. A maze map, a spiky map. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says rating, cursed black diamond. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Even the doormat is a map of the room. Huh. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. Huh, never seen one of those before. Right, is that every single map that we've looked at? I think it might be. Oh, hang on, the boxes? Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Oh, of course, who would have thought? What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. Okay, I think that might be it. Um, he's not really... <laughs> he's not really being particularly useful, although we do have the... We do have the monocle now. It makes things look bigger. It certainly does. So, we didn't come out of here empty-handed at least, but we might need to do what he says and go uh, talk to the cook. Can we go down this way? To the church? Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, 
Don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Hmm. Well, there you are. There's our first, our first look at LeChuck. I gotta be honest. I'm not too sure about his voice at the moment. It's very different. Um, different voice actor, obviously, but looks great. Uh, okay. What's, who's that lady? What's that old lady doing? Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Crazy old ladies out the window. Of course. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Yep. Is this voodoo lady's mum or something? <laughs> What's going on? Things are not what they seem. Great. All right. Well, I'm just going to leave you to stare out the window. Uh, was that another graffiti? Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. What's the sign say? The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Right, because wouldn't this have been the, uh, the the storekeeper, right? The guy that we stole the credit from and everything. I wonder where he's gone off to then. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, yeah. but cash would have been better. Well, that's sad. Stop grumbling up there as well. There's the church all boarded up. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Yeah, yeah, they definitely do. Uh, down the... Ba Stop babbling up there! Don't make me come up there. Employees only. Let's have a go. Let's have a check. Hang on. What's that? That looks a bit like Stan as a clown. Has Stan become a clown? Well, he always was, I suppose. Employees only. Yep, as I thought. It seems to be stuck closed. Yep. Oh, is that a trivia? Yes, it is. I'm doing these straight away. How many mop trees are there? How many mop trees are there? I, uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Mop trees. I might come back to that, actually. <laughs> Maybe we don't know the answer yet. Anything else back here? Was that the rat from the prison that we uh, we let loose all those years ago? Speaking of uh, the jail, let's have a little look inside. A visitor! <laughs> Wait! Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. <laughs> mm. Very different. Big news on going after the secret of Monkey Island. Why, yeah, hang on, why is he in here again? What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. Right, but what actually happened? I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Ah, eh? uh, yeah, that's not a... Not a great idea. Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. 
for old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here! It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Did we actually make it our number three? Uh, no. <laughs> no, what do we need to do? Find some, well, I guess he said we need to find a key. No grog to dissolve the lock this time. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Right, oh yeah, of course, that's kind of all you need. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. Oh, Stan. Stan, the used ship salesman, among other jobs as well. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, it's nice to see Stan again. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Oh, yeah. Um, that's fine. I'm sure we can work out something. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. What does all this actually mean? What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. You know, it's kind of sad that this is happening, but it's also nice to see him get a little bit of comeuppance after all this time. Did he used to have a law practice or something? I mean, yeah, the coffins, all sorts. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. That's actually a very smart outlook. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, Stan. Are you sure, though? Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Fine. All right, then. Well, uh, anything else? Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Okay, I've just noticed that the background music is like a really... But he's kind of slow, gentle version of, of his theme. That's really nice. 
Okay, so we need to get his toothbrush for him. He has got nice big pearly whites, so I'm sure we can do that. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. All right, then. See you later. Yep. So, toothbrush for Stan, a key for Otis. How's your day going? It, do you know what? It's great, actually, Stan. Thank you. It's, it's really good. Ugly jail lamp. Now, at least this jail has two lamps. Yeah, we are living the life. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Um, anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. No. Okay, let's go check out that key place that Otis mentioned about. The locksmith. Wait, another graffiti. Are these clues or something? Looks sort of like an eye. And there's one there. I think it's a chandelier. Hmm. Okay. Welcome to my shop. Hiya. Hello. Very tight shop you've got here. Uh. Oh, there's lots of things to click on. Oh my, if I press tab... Okay, not too bad. Uh, <laughs> there's a parrot! Hello! Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favourite. Does he, does Polly want a... Oh, I haven't got a cracker. Does Polly want a frog? No. Uh, anyway, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Hmm. <laughs> that must have been kind of a bit tough. If you wanted to do something else. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary. Like the bar by the docks. Wow, I never would have thought that, you know. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. I like her glasses. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Hmm, touche. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Okay, let's get stealing. It's gotta be here somewhere. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Okay. Getting some ideas in my head. We've now got uh, Wally's monocle. We could maybe start thinking about making our own tool, maybe. But anyway, before that... Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the Undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Whitey Bones? How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. That's deep, man. If it is a key, could you duplicate it? I'm not sure you're supposed to take it literally. Okay. Okay, so we have a locksmith who's told us how to make keys. Um, let's just have a little browse. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. I'm going to touch everything, including this trivia card. 
What's this one? Whose wedding veil can be found in LeChuck's cabin? Well, it makes sense to be Elaine's, but I kind of want to wait until we're actually there to answer that question. All right, so what can we touch? An elegant book. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. What about these keys? Can't touch that. Treasure map. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's less mysterious. What's that lock? That's for hats. What's that lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. What's this lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. And please don't touch the glass. What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. This could go on for a while, couldn't it? What is this in front? Oh, it's crackers. Oh, so we can give Polly a cracker. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Damn. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Uh... How does... You know what? We'll leave it. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Of course, yeah, I knew that. Oh, we can buy it. Oh, okay. How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? Well, then why is it on the wall? Well, never mind. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make oh, a pun, okay. <laughs> at least make a good one. I thought we might try with a different one. Uh, anything else to click? I don't think there is, actually. Hello again. No. So, I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's leave. Nice to speak to you, locksmith. We need to look closely at a lock. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Hello. Just gonna look at this. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Right, so can we maybe use the monocle with it? Magnify the tiny numbers. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Oh, okay, great. I thought we'd have to kind of combine a few different objects to make some implement. You look like you're having a good time. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Cool. Well, hang on, what is that? A health hazard, oh. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Okay, is it really going to be that simple? That we just give her that number and then we just unlock the door for Otis? Hello, Mr. Brush. Hi. Hello, Miss Lock. Have this. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Are we going to get arrested or something? Please don't snitch on us. Run. Run. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Key. They say the only... This is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. Do we open... Can we open Stan? Probably not. We'll just, we'll just stick to Otis. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. 
Great. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. That was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Just as a quick test, though, can we unlock... Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we unlock you, Stan? No, thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. No. Okay, just wondered. Just wondered. So, I wonder if we can also get some keys for Voodoo Lady's safe. Because, um, as I say, she was very mysterious about that. I want to see what's inside. Hey, Whitey Bones. All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. That is her mum, isn't it? Like, come on, she was just talking about gold keys and whatnot. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. She is, yeah, she's giving clues to something. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. You can find a golden key, but you cannot own it. All right, fine. I'll come back to you, crazy lady. Crazy bones. I just want to quickly check if I can use the glass on these keys, or these locks, rather. The scroll work is nice, but there are no numbers here. No. Okay. I should have really known. Let's head to... Back to the scum bar. Oh, there's some more people in there. The loom guy is here. Hi, Cobb. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. You really are. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about it. Tell me about Loom as well. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. You know, the sad thing is, even after all these years of playing these games and back in 2013 playing the, the special edition for the first time, I still haven't played Loom. It's still on my list of LucasArts games to play. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Ew. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. I'm gonna keep pushing. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. <laughs> I just got an achievement for that fan service. Indeed. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Uh, what? We're not gonna question that? No? Alright. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, do we want to go straight into the kitchen? Are these, were these guys here before? They were, weren't they? I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. Yeah, they don't care. This guy? I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. Oh, oh, woman, sorry. Uh, <laughs> doesn't care either. Is that a card? Is that a trivia card? No, it's not. All right, let's go and try and find a mop back here. Ignore these annoying bunch. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Uh, yeah, yeah, great, great, great. Give me the mop. One, where's the mop? Two, give me the mop. Eh, same old, same old. 
How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Oh, good old Elaine. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. I mean, I'm seeing maggots and stuff on the... Oh, and down there as well. So I'm not sure how much I trust... To... Oh, is that it right there? <laughs> the certificate. Hmm. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Wow. Wow, this guy really likes mops. Can I not just have his, though? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Fine. How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Fine. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Fine. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Fine. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Alrighty then, I have a bit of an idea from the get-go about the mop head. I mean, it, we're talking about the mop trees and the mop wood, but we do have a very mop head looking head with stringy hair. So I think we might need to attach it to this uh, when we find the, the handle, um, <laughs> of course. But before we do that, let's actually have, I, I, I also assume we need to look around the rest of the island to find those trees. But before we do that, let's have a look around the kitchen. Who's that? Looks like a mugshot. Okay. Active little guys, aren't they? Is this still grog? This used to be a grog barrel. Uh, okay. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. Right. Yeah, great. Uh, maybe, maybe don't trust that. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Anything else in here? Stand near the stove. Oh, sniff it. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Pleasantly scorching hot. Why would we want to stand near the stove? What would get hot, I wonder? Can we put the frog in, this, in, the, in the stew? Is that a bit cruel? We can't do it anyway. <laughs> I'm not a monster. The bird's still out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, it's, a wood <laughs> it's wooden now. Okay. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Oh, 
Is the floorboard still loose? I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Okay, good. We've got some string. We can maybe use that for the mop. Okay, yeah. No, no loose floorboard now. All nailed down tight. That's good. Not everything has gone, uh, you know, run down. Okay, so... With that in mind, anything else to say to you? Oh yeah, there's still loads to talk about. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. True, though. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the chucks. Bold. I like your thinking. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> okay, is that it? I think that might be it. Although we can keep scaring him for some reason. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, well, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. So, if we have a look at our to-do list now. Oh, wow, we're really growing our to-dos, aren't we? Um, make a mop. Find the mop handle tree. And that, I guess, relates to that question that we got in the trivia card. Um, we still need to get something to do with that eye patch, probably, from a museum. Uh, with Voodoo Lady to get a disguise... And then we need to seize the Chuck ship. Okay. Well, that all seems just about doable. I guess. Surreptitiously abscond with the mop. That is not going to work, is it? Stay away from my mop. Yeah, no. that's th th Just leave it. Just drop it, Guybrush. Ignore these guys. And head on out. So here we are once again, ending off the episode in the exact same space. But hey, we've learned a lot today. We've seen a lot of old characters return. It's been rather lovely. And we know what we need to do next time. Go and find some mop trees. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.